You're traveling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone. Room 12, early spring, a room full of lively students, reading, writing, and having fun. Hello? Oh. Okay, yes, I'll be right there. Um, class, I have to go to the office, and I'll be right back. Just keep on working. Yes, Miss Carlin! and it wouldn't work. Same thing over here. I can't get anyone on the phone. My CD player isn't working. The radio won't work. No. <laughs> My calculator won't even work. I wonder if room 11 still got power. I think I'll go out the back and check. I'll be right back. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Why should the power go up all of a sudden in the phone line? Maybe it was some sort of electrical storm or something. That don't seem lively. This guy's just as good as any. No thunder, no lightning, no cloud, no nothing. How can it be a storm? I can't get a thing on the portable. No wonder why it's not working. Well, why don't you go down to the office and check with the secretary? Though she'll probably think we're crazy. A little power outage and all of a sudden we get scared of it. It isn't just the power failure, Charlie. If it was, we'd still be able to get a broadcast on the portable. I'll go up to the office. We'll get this all straightened out. Sure, that's the kind of thing, like sunspots. They raise cane with radio reception all over the world. And this being, thing being so close, why there's no telling what sort of stuff it could do. Go ahead, Charlie. You and Stephanie go up to the office and see if that's not what's causing all the trouble. 
Stephanie! Stephanie, please don't go. You might not even be able to make it to the office. That was the way it was in the story. Nobody could leave. Nobody except... Except who? Except the people he sent down ahead of them. A mother, a father, and two kids that looked exactly like humans, but they weren't. Tommy, please don't talk that way. Go ahead, Tommy. What kind of story was this? What about the people that they sent out ahead? That was the way they prepared things for the landing. They sent four people, a mother, a father, and two kids that looked just like humans, but they weren't. Well, I guess what we better do is run a check on the classroom and see which ones of us are really human. Better do than just stand around here making bum jokes about it. I wonder if Form 11's got the same deal we got. Where's Pete Van Horn, anyways? Didn't he get back yet? Can't you get the door open? No, it won't open. She got the door open. Somehow, she got the door open. How'd she get the door open? All by itself. She wasn't even near it. It opened all by itself. And she never did come out to look at the thing that flew overhead. She wasn't even interested. Why? Why didn't she come out with the rest of us to look? She always was a weirdo. They're not all family. Real weirdos. What do you say we ask her? Yeah!